When Jenna first noticed these strange holes in her baby's nose, terror gripped her. She had no idea what could have caused it or how dangerous it might be. Acting on instinct, she rushed Leo to the doctor. Unfortunately, the news wasn't good. Jenna, a 40-year-old single mom, had been on dates before, but none had ever gone as well as she'd hoped. This time felt different. She was excited and spent extra time preparing for the date. She had met the man online, and although she knew meeting in person carried some risks, she decided to go for it. However, the evening didn't go as planned. Eric, the man she met, seemed indifferent, especially when she mentioned that she had a baby. That raised a huge red flag for Jenna, and she decided not to see him again. A few days after the failed date, Jenna noticed something alarming. Leo, her baby, is dead. Kept scratching his nose as if it was bothering him. When she took a closer look, her heart dropped. Tiny holes were forming in his nose, almost as if something was burrowing into his skin. When she gently pressed on his nose, Leo cried out, and Jenna knew immediately something was very wrong. With no idea what could be causing this, she called the doctor in a panic. The doctor's office arranged for a semi-emergency appointment later that day. They informed her that there were other patients ahead of them, but Leo would be seen by the end of the day. During the appointment, the doctor examined Leo thoroughly and asked Jenna if anything unusual had happened recently, anything that might explain his condition. Jenna promised to think about it. As she replayed the events of the past week in her mind, nothing seemed out of the ordinary except for one thing. She and Leo had gone on a hike through the forest a few days earlier. Maybe Leo had touched something along the way, like a mushroom or a contaminated piece of moss. It was hard for her to pinpoint anything else unusual. She didn't go out much, and her life was pretty routine. Then, a thought struck her. Her recent date with Eric? She had been so excited for that meeting. But what if Eric had some kind of illness or condition? Still, even with her suspicions, she couldn't see how he could be connected to Leo's strange symptoms. Jenna's thoughts were interrupted, too as it was time for Leo's medical tests. In the waiting room, people stared at Leo's nose, shocked by the strange holes. Even the doctor was perplexed, saying he had never seen anything like it before. While they waited for the results, the doctor examined Leo closely again. What was even more alarming was that Leo had stopped crying and his nose had gone completely numb. Needing a moment to breathe, Leo stopped crying. Jenna stepped outside for fresh air, letting Leo sleep in his stroller. When she tried to return to the waiting area, she was shocked to find the door locked from the outside. Panic surged through her as she realized something was very wrong. She heard the doctor's voice inside, informing someone that the police had already been contacted. Desperate, Jenna forced the door open with all her strength causing it to swing wide with a loud bang that echoed through the clinic. Everyone inside froze. The doctor, visibly shaken, ordered everyone to stand back and warned Jenna to stay away. His face was pale with worry, and Jenna knew something serious was unfolding. Before she could ask what was happening, the piercing sound of sirens filled the air, and three police officers burst into the room, weapons drawn. They aimed their guns at Jenna, and ordered her to stay where she was. One officer, his voice calm but commanding, explained that both she and Leo needed to be quarantined immediately. The doctor, with a heavy heart, revealed the truth. Leo had contracted a rare flesh-eating virus, likely from a contaminated plant they had encountered on their recent hike. The police had already begun investigating the trail where Jenna and Leo had walked, and they discovered a non-native plant along the path. This plant was the source of the infection. Thankfully, Leo received the medical treatment he needed. Although he had to endure a difficult period of isolation, the infection was contained. The authorities took swift action, removing the plant to prevent further cases. After months of recovery, Leo was finally healthy again, and Jenna, relieved, was ready to move on from the terrifying ordeal. With Leo happy and in good health, Jenna could finally put the nightmare behind her. What would you do if you found yourself in Jenna's shoes? Should she have suspected her date had something to do with Leo's condition? Share your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned for the next story.